Hello YouTubers, Happy New Year, and welcome to 2024 and another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today, we're going to take a look at Claire Gunzer, the minivan clown from the Cars on the Road episode, Showtime. Before we get right into the review and unboxing, let me let me start off with an explanation. So, <clears throat> I got Claire Gunzer over there in a two-pack with Hollem Hayes at Meyer, along with two more two-packs containing Cave Lightning McQueen and Pit Staposaurus and Gearston Marshall and Mark Sontimer yesterday. So, therefore, Claire Gunzer was the winner. So, anyhow, let's start off with the unboxing. So, here we've got her artwork and her die cast sealed in, and her name, Claire Gunzer, and the Carpenter County Desert background and Hollem Hayes' artwork, his name and diecast sealed in, the Salt Flats map background, the Mattel logo, the Cars on the Road logo, 2023, and on the back we have the Salt Flats map logo, Cars on the Road, as seen in, Deputy Hazard Lightning McQueen, Bella Cadavery, who I unfortunately don't have, Lisa and Louise, who I recorded previously, Jeremy and Chiefess, who I unfortunately don't have either of those two, Gearston Marshall and Mark Sontimer, 2022 Mattel, the Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, and that is it. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. I'll be right back. So here we have Claire Gunzer and Hollem Hayes all opened up and out of the package. Well, today's video is about Claire Gunzer, so I'll set Hollem Hayes aside for another day. So, anyhow, Claire Gunzer is a... A minivan, I imagine she's a 1996 Dodge Caravan minivan, who is a clown car that lives at the Circus Velocitas, hosted by May and K. Pillar Derev. And she also bears a resemblance to Minnie from the first and second films. Anyhow, during her appearance in the, in the Cars on the Road episode Showtime, she was seen, she, along with many other clown cars, including the Circus stunt biplane in the Circus Pity were seen per performing at the Circus Velocitas while Lightning McQueen was trying to get over his fear of clowns. And she hasn't had any speaking roles in the episode. So, during her diecast releases, she was released twice in a single and in a two-pack with Holm Hayes, which I got both of them from in a two-pack from Meyer yesterday. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we have her happy facial expression, his her I mean, her happy facial expression, no grill, 
headlights, white exterior on white face paint with red on the mouth and on the hood, no tampos, just the side view mirrors in pink. And on both sides we have the gold rims on the black wall tires and her doors and pink with red and purple stripes. And on the hood we have a bit of white and pink background with red and purple stripes. And on the back we have the pink background and blue circles and red taillights and the back bumper and a license plate saying J01 20S, I believe. Um, and on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in Thailand, 2022 Mattel. Oh, and I forgot to mention the exhaust pipe underneath here. And that is it. And now, let's pull up some of the other circus cars we have I mean the other circus cars we have the Pillar Derev sisters May and K Pillar Derev the circus stunt biplane the circus pity and Holm Hayes, who I will review another day. And more minivans. We have Van. And Mini, another 1996 caravan. And more Dodge vehicles. We have Rusty Rusties, who is a 1963 Dodge Dart. Dusty Rusties, who is a 1967 Dodge A100 van. Snot Rod, who is a 1970 Dodge Challenger, I imagine. Rod Torque Redline, who is a 2010 Dodge Challenger, I believe. And Stainer, who is a 2008 Dodge Challenger, I believe and imagine, at the same time. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which circus car is your favorite? Which minivan is your favorite? Which Dodge vehicle is your favorite? And do you have a New Year's resolution for this year of 2024? Although my resolution is getting on a high budget, which I'm still trying to figure ways to get on a high budget. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below or on the voting poll on the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Oh, and I also want to thank everyone for hitting me 1400 subscribers today. Happy New Year's. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year's. Goodbye now.